Anna Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I would like to thank my cousins, 
Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a vi... I didn't think you'd come after your tragic loss. Thank you, Lucy. I would love to chat, but... Marcus Stuyvesant was a god. How you been? So not in Quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Wood Ranger, you know, the Bollywood producer who died, doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Update on my replacement guard? Sir, we have word that he's arrived. We're just waiting for him to turn up. Well, get back to me when he is reported for duty. And remember to check his papers first. I don't need to waste my time with some new... Right there. Expect That's the Marcus Stipes. Sure Providence sir. partner, self-entitled and arrogant Good. little and worm. When I come back, no more he might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream.
sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. You know there's better use of punctuality. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Just a heads up. The package is a real ball breaker. been here countless times inquiring about where you were, so don't be surprised if he's high maintenance. But I'm sure you're used to that. It's just a job. That's the right attitude. You'll fit fine. Got it. standards and trust you will do your duty hey I thought you said my new guard was here look I don't have the time for this okay let's see here well you have been around the world Mumbai Italy France Japan this is a very impressive CV I think you'll do Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7. Unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to. 
to see your face again. That's just to be as half as good as you are. Only time will tell. But I know. You cocky idiot. Look at that! Not bad at all. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. I think we will get along just fine. Okay, I think I got the right man now. What to do? Thank you for your service. I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. Now let's get to work. <gasps> you got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. You are trespassing. Now, you will follow me. So are you telling me I can't do my job? Sorry, but there's any card system. Get an alert, go to the post wipe our card. He's working, he doesn't want to be disturbed. Get the radio. If I don't back him, I'll get fired. It's not my problem. You do what you have to do yeah. without making a noise. This is stupid. What do you want me to do? Back him with my mouth? That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Namaste. Yes, I've been busy. Want a drink? Not today. I'm worried about you. The news you gave me this morning, it really surprised me. I think I'm losing my mind with that little weasel out there making a fool of me. I've never been a man of violence, but all I want is vengeance of biblical proportion. Well, if you need anything, you know you can always ask. I thank you. 
Fix this. I always have and I always will. Edward's thing. He's got the upper hand, but he forgets that we created Now that's the Carl I know. Always the fire. Don't you worry. My only regret is that it's your friend. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. <laughs> 